Let's get started. Number 10. Fire by accident. Imagine being a caveman trying to impress your tribe by rubbing two sticks together and accidentally inventing civilization. That's basically what happened when early humans discovered fire. No manual, no safety goggles. Just one guy who probably sneezed sparks into dry grass and screamed, Oh no, wait, this is kind of nice. Archaeologists believe humanity's mastery of fire was one of our biggest oops moments. We didn't discover it through genius. We stumbled into it while trying not to freeze. Fire gave warmth, light, cooked food, and later, barbecues that made neighbors jealous. But it also made us the first species to weaponize nature itself. Lightning struck trees before, sure, but humans figured out how to carry that lightning in their hands. Here's the wild part. Controlled fire appears in the fossil record around 790,000 years ago, right around the time our ancestors' brains began to grow significantly. Some scientists even argue that cooked food jump-started our cognitive evolution, because cooking breaks down complex molecules, making calories easier to absorb. Translation, fire made us smarter by letting us eat more efficiently. So, yeah, every smartphone, skyscraper, and cup of coffee indirectly exists because some prehistoric idiot set the forest on fire and didn't die. Number 9. Penicillin's Moldy Miracle Picture this. You're a scientist who leaves dirty petri dishes lying around, goes on vacation, and returns to find that one of them grew. A fuzzy blue-green blob. Most people would gag and throw it out. Alexander Fleming decided to stare at it instead, and saved humanity. That mold turned out to be a Penicillium notatum, the accidental birth of penicillin in 1928. Fleming noticed that bacteria wouldn't grow anywhere near the mold colony, as if the germs were terrified of it. In a single moment of, wait, what if I don't clean this up? He kicked off the antibiotic revolution. Ironically, he almost ignored his own discovery. It took a decade and two other researchers, Howard Florey and Ernst Chain, to refine the mold into a usable drug. By World War II, penicillin was saving soldiers faster than bullets could kill them. It turned infections that used to be death sentences into minor inconveniences. Here's the kicker. Fleming's sloppy lab habits were notorious. His colleagues mocked him for being messy, but that mess literally became the foundation of modern medicine. Without it, something as simple as a paper cut could still kill you today. So, the next time someone calls you lazy for not cleaning up, just tell them you're innovating like Fleming. Number 8. Microwave Mayhem Every invention story sounds glamorous until you find out it started with melted chocolate. In 1945, an engineer named Percy Spencer was working on radar systems when he noticed something weird. The chocolate bar in his pocket had melted during a test. Now, most of us would just be annoyed. Spencer, however, decided to stick popcorn kernels under the radar emitter. And boom, instant popcorn. He then tried an egg, which exploded spectacularly, baptizing his lab assistant in science. That's how the microwave oven was born, pure chaos and curiosity. It wasn't even designed for cooking. It was military tech accidentally turned into a kitchen essential. The first commercial microwaves were enormous and cost as much as a car. But by the 1970s, everyone was nuking leftovers and pretending it tasted the same. What's fascinating is how this accident reshaped global eating habits. Convenience food, frozen dinners, even modern snack culture all owe their existence to one engineer who got too close to a radar beam with a candy bar in his pocket. So, the next time your pizza slice comes out soggy, just remember, you're part of a proud tradition of culinary accidents. Number 7. X-rays. The skeleton selfie. In 1895, physicist Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen was just trying to understand cathode rays when his lab started glowing. Literally. He noticed a fluorescent screen across the room, lighting up every time the rays hit something solid. Being a scientist, and possibly a little reckless, he put his own hand between the tube and the screen and saw his bones. Röntgen had accidentally discovered x-rays, the first time humans had ever looked inside themselves without cutting anything open. When he showed the image of his wife's hand, complete with bones and wedding ring, she reportedly screamed, I have seen my death. So, yeah, first medical imaging. Also first medical horror show. The discovery was so revolutionary that within months, doctors everywhere were using x-rays to locate bullets and broken bones. But there was a dark twist. Nobody realized how dangerous radiation was yet. Early radiologists literally burned their skin for science. Some even lost fingers. Still, that lucky glow changed everything. Röntgen refused to patent his discovery, saying it belonged to humanity. It's poetic. The first true transparent human moment happened by accident, and it forever blurred the line between curiosity and danger. Number 6. The Big Bang of Nothing Sometimes, the biggest breakthroughs start with static. In 1964, Two Bell Labs engineers, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, 
were trying to tune a radio antenna when they heard a faint hiss that wouldn't go away. They cleaned the equipment. They removed pigeon poop from the dish. Yes, really. The noise persisted. Turns out that annoying background sound was the echo of the universe's birth. Cosmic microwave background radiation. Left over from the Big Bang. They weren't astronomers, they were radio engineers. Yet their malfunction became one of the greatest discoveries in cosmology. The kicker? At first they thought it was interference from New York City, or local pigeons nesting inside the antenna horn. Imagine calling NASA and saying, Hey, I think we just discovered the origin of the universe, but also, we need to relocate two pigeons. Their lucky mistake confirmed what physicists like Einstein and Gamow had only theorized, that the universe began with a massive explosion of energy. So, the next time your Wi-Fi cuts out, remember, that static might just be whispering the sound of creation. Number 5. The Vulcanized Accident Charles Goodyear was the human embodiment of try, fail, repeat. For years, he obsessed over making rubber more durable, but everything he touched either melted in the heat or turned brittle in the cold. He went broke, got arrested for debt, and even pawned his kids' clothes to buy more rubber. Then one day in 1839, Goodyear accidentally dropped a mix of rubber and sulfur onto a hot stove. Instead of melting, the rubber stayed strong and flexible. That one clumsy spill, a literal kitchen disaster, created vulcanized rubber, the material behind tires, hoses, and basically the modern world's grip on the road. Goodyear called it divine providence. Most people would call it blind luck. Either way, his obsession paid off. Unfortunately, business-wise, he was still terrible. Others got rich from his discovery while he died in debt. Still, every time you drive your car, bounce a ball, or even wear elastic bands, you're using the product of a man's failed experiments and one gloriously lucky mistake. Fun fact, when he first tried to sell it, nobody believed him. He literally had to heat up samples in front of skeptical investors to prove it wouldn't melt. So next time you burn dinner, don't panic. Maybe you're one kitchen accident away from an invention worth billions. Number four, LSD's unintended trip. Some people take long walks to clear their mind. Albert Hoffman accidentally invented the most famous mind trip in history. In 1938, Hoffman was trying to create a circulatory stimulant from ergot fungus, and failed. Five years later, he decided to revisit his boring compound and accidentally absorbed a tiny amount through his fingertips. What followed was history's first LSD trip, intense colors, strange patterns, and the sense that the universe was breathing. A few days later, he deliberately took a slightly larger dose and went on what's now known as Bicycle Day, the most psychedelic commute ever recorded. He rode home convinced his neighbor was a witch, and that time itself had melted. Science. Meet hallucination. LSD went on to revolutionize neuroscience, psychology, and even art, inspiring everything from 1960s counterculture to medical research into trauma and depression. All because one chemist didn't wear gloves. The irony? Hofmann called LSD his problem child, warning against misuse, but he also believed it could heal minds if used responsibly. Either way, it's one of history's weirdest reminders that human progress often starts when someone says, wait, what's happening to my hands? Number three, post-it notes, the sticky failure that stuck. If you've ever stuck a reminder on your mirror saying, go to the gym, and then ignored it, you owe that small act of procrastination to a massive laboratory failure. In 1968, 3M chemist Spencer Silver was trying to invent a super strong adhesive. Instead, he created the exact opposite, a weak, low-tack glue that barely held anything total flop. He called it a solution without a problem. For years, he tried convincing his colleagues it could be useful, but no one wanted glue that couldn't stick properly. Then, another 3M scientist, Art Fry, had a small crisis. His bookmarks kept falling out of his church hymnal. He remembered Silver's useless glue and thought, what if I use it to make a bookmark that sticks, but doesn't tear the page? And just like that, the post-it note was born. The product that defined office life, passive-aggressive reminders, and every high school locker in the 90s. What's poetic here is that both men's failures synced perfectly. One man's not sticky enough glue met another man's slippery bookmarks, and the world suddenly had a new way to remember dentist appointments. The best part? It wasn't launched with fanfare. The first post-its were literally given away for free to see if people liked them. They did, and decades later, they're still everywhere. Proof that sometimes the weakest idea can stick around the longest. Number two, the pacemaker that missed its beat. In 1956, engineer Wilson Greatbatch was building a circuit to record heartbeats. While soldering, he grabbed the wrong resistor, slightly higher resistance than intended. When he tested it, the circuit pulsed rhythmically, just like a human heartbeat. He realized he'd accidentally built a pacemaker, 
Imagine that moment. He was supposed to make a recorder and instead made a heart substitute. Talk about mixed signals. Great Batch refined his mistake into a life-saving device at small enough to implant into patients' chests. Before that, External pacemakers were bulky machines that literally shocked people through their skin. His version gave new life to millions, and all because of a misplaced component worth a few cents. The man later said, It was no accident. It was guided. But the truth? It was both. A man who was just curious enough not to throw away a mistake. That's the real magic. Progress disguised as error. To this day, over three million people rely on pacemakers worldwide, all thanks to a resistor that was too big. So next time your project doesn't work, double check before deleting it. It might just be beating with the future inside. Number one, the universe's luckiest accident, you. Let's end with the biggest oops of all, us. Humanity itself is the ultimate lucky mistake. Think about it, Earth shouldn't even exist. It formed from cosmic debris that barely avoided the sun's gravity. Water shouldn't have stayed here. It should have boiled away. Dinosaurs should have kept ruling until a rock the size of a city decided to crash their party. Every single event that led to your existence was statistically absurd. Even your DNA? A chaotic remix of three billion chemical letters that could have gone wrong in a thousand ways. Evolution isn't a straight line of brilliance. It's a messy trial and error process held together by happy accidents. The eye, for instance, evolved from light-sensitive skin patches that weren't supposed to see anything. The brain evolved from a cluster of nerve knots meant for smell and speech a glitch that turned grunts into poetry. We call it progress, but if you zoom out, it's a giant chain of near disasters that somehow worked. Fire, antibiotics, space travel. All proof that life's greatest leaps don't come from perfection, but from persistence, curiosity, and dumb luck at the right moment. So, the next time something in your life goes wrong, remember. Maybe that's just the start of something extraordinary. Humanity itself was a mistake that refused to quit. That's it for today. I'll be doing similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.